So what program do I use for all my editing? Well, here it is, Premiere Pro CC 2015. Okay, you might be thinking, why do I use CC 2015 and why not 2018 for instance? Well, this one runs super smoothly with my computer and it has all I need, especially elementary color. So yes, now that's opened, what do I do? How do I go about starting a new project? I go into create and I have a project template and I use this for most of my videos. As you can see, I have a number of preset bins here and this is the most important part. This saves so much time and it's practical. So starting at the bottom, I have transitions and these are the ones that are very nice and they're useful in a lot of my travel videos. But here's an example. And I'll just change blending mode to some like screen and I'll use it in a video. Then titles. I've made these ones and are based on my favorite YouTubers and just things I liked. If I want to use one of these, for instance, I'll right click this, duplicate it, open it up, and here I'll change all the properties like the font, size, color, etc. Every time I open a new project, I normally find the song first to kind of fit the mood of the video, and I always put my music in here. Sound effects, wishes, there are a few basic wishes, I have a lot more, but these are my favorites. Scary sound effects. My ambient sound effects are mostly room tones and just general sound effects. None too special, but are very useful. Then, these are the sound effects that I use the most. And I use these on transitions to add like seagull sounds, etc. They're very good. PNG arrows are just small PNGs such as the tick and many more. Icons. If I ever link my Instagram on screen, I use these. And these bursts are amazing for transitions. So let's have a look on one of these. I named this folder effects, but all it really is is my intro, outro, crop lines. And I normally put my adjustment layers in here as well. In the very top bin, I have my clips. I normally separate it into B-roll, A-roll, and sometimes random clips I find online like GIFs. And that's it, that's my whole template. It's very important that once you open your template to save it as some different name. The reason for this is Premiere Pro auto saves your projects and if you forget to rename it, it'll overwrite your template so, so you won't be able to use it as a template in future videos. Very important. Thank you for watching, hope some of this made sense. If they'd leave a like, subscribe and possibly hit that notification bell. Till next time.